we have with us Gantavya, who has cleared uh, Amazon Germany and he has a one CR package, one crore package. So then coming to the most important question, how did you apply to Amazon and that to international like Germany? So hello everyone, wow. welcome back to the channel. So today we have with us Gantavya, who has cleared uh, Amazon Germany and he has a one CR package, one crore package. So coming from a non-CS branch, ECE, and uh, today he will tell us everything about how he applied, how he learned DSA, kya resources follow kiye, sab kuch starting se leke end tak, theke. So, and he also has a Code Mystic community, Telegram pe he has this community, uh, which has 4,000 or 5,000 students. So, he regularly shares internships and other opportunities there, so you should definitely check that out. He also has a YouTube channel and he's also a knight at Lead Code. So, hi Gantavya, nice to meet you. Hi, Amisha. Thanks for having me on your podcast. And you have mentioned a lot of things in your uh, intro part. So, yeah. So, first of all, first of all, tell me what branch are you exactly? Or, um, like, yeah, I'm from Electronics and Communication branch, uh, which is a kind of non-CS branch. Okay, okay. Kind of, I mean, it's different. So, that's different. <laughs> so, yeah. first of all, let's start from the starting. Like, how did you you know when you mm-hmm. come came to college so what was the first year second year kya kiya matlab coding kaise start kiya check kaise sab kuch um so in first year i tried to explore everything i i tried to explore tech part non tech part everything which was going on in the college around the college i joined uh, local communities like mm-hmm. we have gtg uh, we have developer circle facebook and a lot of uh, technical communities in my city so i joined those communities even i joined few college clubs so through those communities and clubs i got to know a lot of things i got to know like what all things are going in the market and what all new technologies are coming in the market so i tried to explore all those technologies i tried to build some beginner friendly projects and then i found that uh, D- there is something DSA and DSA is important for almost all the top tech companies. So I tried to, you know, excel my uh, knowledge in DSA. Then uh, I figured out that lead code is the good platform for DSA. Earlier I used to do on hacker rank because hacker rank is a good platform. If you are a beginner and even if you do not know any syntax, then also you can start from the DSA. There is a first program on, um, uh, hackering that is print the hello world so i started from there on hackering then i gradually shifted to lead code and yeah then i solved a good number of questions on lead code and that's i do till third and fourth year and besides the dsa part i did web development i also tried aiml i built some projects on aiml too and i also tried few more things which were you know booming in the market at that time so yeah Okay. Okay. So like, when did you start DSA? Like, because you are from EC branch. So did they teach you Mm -hmm. in college or did you start on your own? Uh, I started on my own, uh, when I was in first year. So I started DSA. I used to, uh, practice questions on, uh, actually I, I love, uh, competitive programming, not particularly the competitive program. I'm not, uh, I've not even participated in ICPC ever, but uh, I love to solve, you know, those basic questions of at coder and, uh, mm-hmm. code forces even. So I love to solve those mathematical questions and those, you know, logical questions of at coder and code forces. So I used to solve those questions, uh, since my first year only. So I started in first year and I started with, uh, you know, very basic questions of mathematics, you know, like, like the first and second question, A and B question of uh, code forces, even in the coder beginner contest, we used to get, uh, like I used to solve first two, three questions in my first year. So I started from there and yeah, that went well till now. Okay. Okay. And you are also a knight at lead code. So mm-hmm. when did that happen? Like how okay, so actually I started lead code a bit late when I was in in the last semester of second year. Probably we can say it's the fourth semester. So I started uh, lead code in my fourth semester and then I started participating in lead code contest probably in, in the fifth semester, I guess. 
so like i participated in around uh, 30 to 40 contest of lead code and uh, then i got this night batch like before doing the lead code and the night batch i did practice on code chef code force and coder so like if we count up everything then um like night batch is a bit longer like mm-hmm. it took a longer time it's not the journey of one and two month of third year like i started from the first year and then in third year when i started lead code so within you know like within five months i i was able to get the night batch okay okay great so then coming to the most important question how did you apply to amazon and that to international like germany so Uh, did you okay. think that i will have to that i will apply for international opportunities or mm-hmm. what so why did you think of applying and how did you apply okay so basically i applied for almost all the openings like i even applied for indian positions and almost all the international positions of fang companies even like even i applied for the startups as well but uh, you know it's very difficult to get the oa link Hmm. and even in the current scenario when there is a lot of recession it's it's very difficult so i was able to get a link of amazon and then i cleared the oa round and i basically applied without any referral on amazon uh, job portal uh, in the month of i guess uh, january 2022 yeah in 2022 i applied and like after 3 um, to 4 month um i got a link of amazon and actually during this 3 to 4 when i used to apply to all the openings uh, i even applied for amazon london then amazon us as well then amazon canada that was vancouver one and uh, like i i think i applied for more than 20 positions in amazon so then i got this uh, oil link and after getting the oil link um i just cleared the oa test within you know uh, i guess within 15 to 20 minutes i was able to solve all the questions then after the oa round uh, within 15 to 20 days i um i got the interview link uh, that uh, i need to schedule the interview uh, after one week then i had i had uh, three rounds of interview three uh, one on one round of interview and then i got the offer okay so, yeah so most importantly when you applied to the career portal mm-hmm. so you must have submitted your resume so what yeah. do you think was special in your resume like why did they select it or sent you the oa link because that is the most important part because most people do not mm-hmm. get the online assessment link only yeah so i think uh, there is a term ats application tracking system so like a lot of people emphasize on ats but i think this is important but it is not very important because you know the same resume i applied to other companies as well i applied to google i applied to facebook i applied to microsoft but i got the link from amazon right mm-hmm. so i cannot say that ats is the only way to get the link there is a bit of luck factor as well so to be on the safer side it's always preferred that you use the ats friendly resume and if we particularly talk about ats so i think there are few parameters which we need to keep in mind while making a resume so um, the first thing we need to keep in mind is the one page resume so like this is the most preferred uh, format of the resume so the first thing we need to keep in mind is the one page resume then the second thing i would say is uh, people should include uh, top sections like we have education we have experience then we have skills then we have projects and then we have achievements then we have some volunteering experience so these are some of the sections which uh, people should include in their resume and you know like most of the uh, companies search for these kind of sections in the resume so these are some of the primary sections that everyone should include in the resume uh, besides this uh, uh, the resume should contain some action verbs actionable uh, words like we have developed achieved and these kind of words these are some of the action verb uh, that resume should contain and there are few more parameters like um, resume must be a simple format without any fancy fonts and all and resume must be a single column because you know most of the uh, 
companies prefer the single column resume and uh, besides this everyone should use some bullet points and numbers to showcase their achievements you know like we have uh, like let's say we have built a application and that application is uh, increasing the efficiency by some percentage so we can probably add that uh, this application is increasing the efficiency by 50% so that 50% is basically showing the impact you have created through that feature so these kind of things you know might help uh, to you know get shortlisted so i think these things are um these things are you know being checked by the ats software so yeah yes yes definitely i also made a video on how to make your resume better so you can definitely check that out and uh, yeah so then coming to the next part so you got the online assessment link and you cleared mm-hmm. two questions in i think 15 minutes right so yeah okay so, so this was the first way round and mm-hmm. uh, after this first way round i had the second way round that was also a online assessment round based on some amazon leadership principle and behavioral questions so that round was basically related to you know like th- there were a different parts first one was something related to the real life scenarios when you get some emails from the manager and you need to reply for those so there were some op- some options of mcqs and all so that was something new which i experienced in this particular company like i think there are uh, this that second round is uh, uh, based on the company like we have in jp morgan we have some ai based round in amazon we have this kind of round so i think that vary from company to company so in amazon i had the second round which is related to the real life scenarios and all so questions were like uh, as you said that how will you reply to your manager or some situational based questions mm-hmm. yeah so situational based questions were mm-hmm. there so amazon mm-hmm. leadership principles uh, is basically like something like customer obsession and different kind of principles. yeah okay so that was the second round uh, mm-hmm. and uh, then what happened next and in the second round that you mentioned so like were people selected or were people rejected on the basis of second round also um in the second round i guess that's all that was the most crucial round because a lot of people got the rejection after the second round and a lot of people didn't heard back from that round because you know there are two options either people get the rejection or people do not get the rejection mm. like do not get any response yeah there's the second kind of rejection people get so there are two things so uh luckily i got the email of the interview so after the second oe round i got uh, the interview email after i guess 15 to 20 days and there were three uh one on one interview and uh, all the three interviews were of uh, 45 minutes 45 to 60 minutes uh, so what were okay. the questions that were asked in those 45 to 60 minute interviews that you mentioned with an interviewer mm-hmm. um okay so in that 45 to 60 minute uh, round there were three uh, interviews and all the three interviews were on same pattern um let's say th- the round of there was a round of one hour so in the first 30 minutes they used to ask um the behavioral questions and then in 30 minutes they used to ask the technical questions and in the behavioral questions also they Uh, particularly look for amazon leadership principles uh, they ask for the projects they ask uh, your experience so in those experience they basically try to look for the uh, amazon leadership principle that have you worked on those principles or not so they basically check on these things and in the second phase like the next 30 minutes they look for um the technical skills they give you dsa question they give you um design based questions so these kind of things were asked in the second phase like the next 30 minutes so this is the same set of 30 in 30 minutes of three rounds okay and apart from dsa uh, were you also asked uh, operating system database management system things like that um no i was not asked any cs subjects but i was asked uh, designing questions okay so like we have uh, okay the designing i i cannot disclose the exact questions right now so yeah so design based questions okay great mm-hmm. 
so what do you think uh, should be the advice for someone who is in their first year or also for someone who is in the third year and the placement season is coming so what would be your advice to the juniors um i would say uh, one should work on their dsa skill dsa skill is the most important thing for any of the coding interview then the second thing they need they need to look is the projects and the projects can be anything uh, web development project ci ml or any of the projects they are working on they should be you know very good at that project and uh, the third thing they need to do is apply for all the opportunities don't hmm. you know ever think that i am not eligible for the not eligible like i i have not prepared for this so don't think in that way just apply for all the opportunities you do not know where is your destiny so just apply for all the opportunities so that's the third thing i need to say to all the juniors okay okay so were you also asked about your projects as you mentioned yeah they asked about my projects as well okay okay so yeah so congratulations and when are you joining like uh, soon or since you are in the final year right so mm-hmm. yeah so i will be joining probably in august in the first week of august okay okay so congrats for the offer ketabha <laughs> thank you so much and thank you for coming to our channel and you know giving us these tips and uh, definitely check out ketabha's youtube channel where he has made a detailed video on whatever was asked and everything it's a pretty long video where he has explained all the rounds so do check that out and thank you gantavya uh, and i hope that you know this will be very useful for everyone thank you so much amisha for having me on your podcast it was a great privilege for me to be here thank you so much okay